Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and today I just wanted to ask you one question. Are your images a little crooked? And even after ultimate tries of straightening the image, it just doesn't straighten it? It happens sometimes. Sometimes it's just the angle or maybe sometimes it's the construction. Whatever the reason might be, I want you to have a look at this image for a second. Have a look. The railings are going one direction. This is going the other direction. Even if you try, to align the railings according to straightening this one. So if you click on the straighten tool and if you try to straighten this railing like that, you'll see that this is still bent. Some areas are just still bent. You see this is bent a little bit. This one is bent a little bit. It just doesn't look right. Similarly, I want you to have a look at this photo. Let's go to this one. Have a look at this photo. It is mainly due to how the road is. See the Union Station Hotel where it's written, it's a little bent and even if I try to kind of straighten it, something like this, the road goes more at an angle. Now, that is the reality of it. If you want to make it straight, whatever the reason might be, maybe due to how it actually is or maybe due to your camera angle, we can fix that in Lightroom very, very easily. So here's how to do it. So here we are in the develop module of Lightroom and all you have to do, just click on transform. Now there are a ton of sliders which you can use to kind of fix it. So you can use the vertical and horizontal sliders and all these stuff, but it's a little complex. So let me show you an easier and much more accurate way to do this. So all you have to do, first of all, let's just reset all of this, okay? Then click on this button. This is called the guided upright tool. Click on that one. Click on the lines which should have been straight, okay? So click and drag along the lines which should have been straight in real life. This one should have been straight. Also at the top, this one should have been straight like that. Okay, going somewhere like this on those lines. See, now it's looking much better. This one should have been straight. Now you cannot see it properly. So what I would do, I would increase the shadow so that you can see it properly and maybe increase the exposure just to see it. Doesn't matter, it's blowing out, that's okay. Just to see the lines. Okay, let's open up the transform again. The tool is already selected. Let's click and drag along this line. Okay, click and drag along this line. This is wrong. We will just click and drag along this line as well. Make sure this is straight and have a look the image straightens up. But there's still a little bit of distortion and we can fix that very easily by using a little bit of lens correction. So open up this lens correction, go to profile and enable profile correction. And it goes straight as well. Doesn't that look much more better? So if you don't wanna see the lines, just open up the transform and just click on that one. It just kind of fix it in. Okay, now you have it straight. Let's just reset the basics because I just made those changes just to see the area, see the lines. Let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, not straight. This is the after, very straight. Now here comes the fun part. I click this image from the bottom and since we clicked it from the bottom, it should have an angle to it. Right now it looks very flat. It looks as if I captured it dead straight, not very interesting. So how can we do that? How can we bring that angle back in after straightening it? Simple, let's open up the transform and vertically just move it to an angle like that and have a look. We have that angle and it's way better than the previous one. Let's have a look at the before and after. So here's the before, it's not that straight. Here's the after, whoops, I reset it, let's go back. So here's the after. So here's the before, here's the after, much more straighter. Let's have a look at the second example. Let's move to this example. And this was due to how the road was a bent a little bit. Maybe it was a little slanting. So we can fix that if you want to. So we can go back to this one and just straighten it like that. Okay. And make a line like that. And as you can see, done. Now you see the slanting. This went that way. It just doesn't look right. Things are not straight vertically. So we would again create a line, okay, one more, let's use something like this, 
Okay, now it is straight. Let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the after. Let's first of all fix this right over there. Let's have a look at the before and after. So here is the before and here is the after. Straightened out, looks amazing. So that's how to straighten up crooked images if it doesn't and only if it doesn't straighten the normal way. Now what is the normal way? The normal way would simply be if you're using the crop overlay inside of that there's this angle you would click here and simply try to straighten it by dragging a line along a line which should have been straight. Okay, That is the normal way if it doesn't fix it only then you go to transform. And do not forget now that inside of lens correction you enable profile correction. Now once you enable profile correction keep in mind that profile corrections are a little heavy on the CPU. So your Lightroom might work a little slower. So what I personally do is that I save profile correction for the end. After I've done everything, then I check this on. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's how to straighten it. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks a lot for your support, guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. And thank you so much for watching.